Hello and welcome everyone to Naruto League Season 5, Week 15, Episode 3. I am your host, Orange, and with me is Gomeljack. Hello. How's it going today? Ah, oh, that's good. Been a lot of close batches this week yes. so far. And uh, this this episode, we actually have uh, all different teams. Like, we have different colors here, so... Uh, no yeah. shared colors, which is always uh, really nice to see. Is very colorful. Akatsuki bringing some of their Skittles to this. Yeah. <laughs> so first up, we have Asuma at Hokage. And then we have Uchiha at Guy. Um, there's not really much on the line here for this first match. Uh, both teams are securely in playoffs. Asuma has the bye. Hokage is definitely just in. Um... As for the second one, Uchiha has nothing to fight for now, other than record. But Guy, Guy still wants to get into the playoffs. So if they win their match, they're in. If they lose, they're out. So yeah, a lot riding for uh, for Guy. Because again, like you said, Uchiha is not in as a result of uh, Bakasi hitting a win on their side. So yeah, I don't think Hokage. Do they have? No, they're 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 locked in. Also is locked in, so they're just fighting for record or for for padding at this point yeah so um yeah i mean just getting into this first one here uh uchiha or that's not it this is the first one <laughs> asuma at hokage there you go um were there boosts used and who is benched um i think there were some boosts used yes. so let's see um before i go to the boosts, we'll say benches benches asuma bench the chodester he is in the bench which is, I mean, that's not a bad call. He's probably out of their whole team. Probably their, I guess, maybe their worst members, I guess, of their team. I mean, one that you don't see much of and typically doesn't seem to carry as much weight as some of the other characters in the team do. Um, mm, let's see. Okage um, benched Edo Minato. Yes. Which... Terms of... Yeah, it's a fair bench. He hasn't... I mean, he's he's fine, but he hasn't been, like, their strongest or anything like that. And obviously, they need, they need the bench because... You know they don't have a choice but yeah um i think it's it's fair bench against a team like asuma yeah i'd say um for boosts um asuma used the fa swap boost for kakazu to get pts choji in because why not yeah and <laughs> ultimate tilt for pts choji so we're gonna get to see the little little the little meatball this this week it's the little meatball <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> it should stick can we call him the little meatball from now on? Please. We need modders. Oh wait, we actually do got modders. If, if we ever uh, actually see him again, that is. Yeah. You know. That that is true. Yeah. Unless of course he's a he's a prime uh, FA pin, uh, FA pickup for other teams. You know. Yeah. All that hidden potential he's that storing within his body. Potential. That he puts keeps in his bag of chips. <laughs> Now, um, Hokage Hokage. boosted as well. Hokage uh, did a FA swap as well to bring Mr. Hiruzen in. Yeah. And, and benched, uh, FA benched Hokage and Naruto, which I'm kind of excited to see Hiruzen because I feel like um, he has had some good performances. I know last season. And I hope he does well. He's I'd like to see him potential. actually on the main roster. Yeah. Yeah. So, I other mean... than that, that, that's it for the boost for both sides there. So, yeah. Not, not too much else to say, but uh, yeah, uh, hopefully it's a good match. Not not really anything on the line. But... All right, round number one, we have Hashirama with Tobirama and Hiruzen versus Shikamaru and PTS Choji. Yeah, so... both uh, both FAs that were swapped in are in this match here. You know, the Meatball and yeah. uh, and the Hiruzen. The older me, the older me balls. Tilts, man. <laughs> Here's him likes his too, which I was kind of hoping they would use like an ultimate tilt on him because of the, the tilt. Is, is, he has a pretty good tilt, has good reach on it. And it's, it's gonna auto complete. Um, yeah, for once. doing it now. Which he never used to before because he would always, he'd always just stop, right? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but it's pretty even so far. Hokage is pulling into the lead a little bit, but as you know, that means nothing against Asuna. So... <laughs> lead means absolutely zero. 
In fact, yeah, exactly. I'd say it's one of the few teams that it doesn't need as much on because, again, they could have they could have no health in it. It still seems to be one of the teams that is, I guess, like a clutch team. Team that just no matter what seems to be the case, they seem to pull through. I mean, and the record shows it too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, nice follow up into a lightning kunai there, and he did get a tilt off from that too. Arguably, uh, Choji showing more potential, I think, than Asuma, I think, actually. Definitely yeah. worth the choice of maybe actually having him on the uh, Ooh, nice. fifth bench. Or even dropping him next season. Oh, Team Ultimate. Team nice. This is a good ultimate here. Just like the animal. <laughs> <laughs> the face of here is it? He's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Team Ultimate from Counter, Asuma. Counter Team Ultimate. Got interrupted. No subs though on either side. Whoever goes in first is gonna get the damage yet. Yeah. Oh, he's getting his tilt there. Both teams do still have women for the as well. And uh, here's an is tanky. They gave him a defense plus two this week. This combo from Choji goes forever. Ow. Oh my god. Like when you thought it was done, it wasn't. Oh! Yeah. Oh, oh that there. tilt got the whole team. And yeah, uh, here's him charging up. No subs. He could go oh, he Awakening. Almost, he almost showed Awakening there, but he's got nothing here. And... Yeah. Hardly any subs on either side. Yeah, and Toby Rama getting a tilt off there. But Shikamaru's going to finish the match really quickly at the very end there. Um, so yeah, not too shabby from this, this lineup from uh, Hokage, considering that you know, we haven't seen heroes in all season. I, I'd say that was pretty good. Definitely. So, yeah. Awesome is going to have two caps in the next round. All right, round two, the second lineup of Hokage. Uh, heroes in and Sonate uh, versus, again, the first lineup of Awesome. Take you two handicaps against them, though. So, again, um, especially because Sonate's out, she will do a lot of damage to, oh, to Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, she won't take a whole lot herself either because of the, uh, the handicaps. But she can't be taking this damage like that. No, I mean, she definitely will take the most of their team because she has that uh, defense minus one anyway, so she'll take a little bit more damage. Look at that combo there. That was just a little bit of damage there, but oof. Ooh. <laughs> nice little swap there from Asuma. Look at all that damage that they did, too. They're already yeah. a, 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 almost a handicap right now. Which is not what they want. Again, goes against Asuma. Yeah. That was the and nice catching Choji, game. though. Yeah, uh, here's an... I'd like, again, I'd like to see a little bit more of what he can do. And both of these fighters on the team can go away again. Yeah, so that would benefit a lot from it as well, because she would get that uh, health regen if she stayed yeah. out. Yeah, and uh, Okage has used Regenerator this week, so it will be on everyone on the team. No subs though on Asuma. Yeah. And this damage right. will stick if they keep the combo going. Nice. And into a tilt. And here's a going to a Timo. No, oh, no. connect, but it was close. And there he yep. goes. And that's it. And we're going to get to see this awesome looking ult. I love this ultimate from Heroes, and I'm so glad they actually gave him yeah. an ultimate. The new one. Instead of the one he used, like, you know. Like season four of Naruto. Yeah. Very nice, very stylish. Super pretty looking. I actually wonder why they never give Roshimaru a new ultimate, honestly. Right? <laughs> he really Whatever should. shitty snake going up, smashing the ground, looking like <laughs> PS2 era graphics. Should have given Tsunade a new one, too. But yeah. yeah. So, we will see you in round three, where Hokage will have one cap out of their favor. Alright, the final round here we have Hirzen with Tsunade versus Ino, Asuma, and PTS Choji. Uh, one, one handicap is out of Hokage's favor here, so they could have some trouble finishing things off here in this match. Yeah, especially probably because Ino is probably on the build she usually is, the uh, defense plus two build. With yes. the Ultra Chakra Saber, I think. Uh, yeah. Chakra Saber and Ultimate Chakra Saber. Okay, yeah. So throw out those more Fire Bombs and then knead them in the face. Yeah. 
Shoji seems to like those tilts a lot, though. Jeez. Yeah, he definitely does. It seems like it's a better version of his tilt he already has, I think, because it's like it moves, he jumps, oh, and he, he kind of lunges. The Shippuden Shoji's uh, tilt really sucks. Oh! Oh, God! That's wow, the combo! <laughs> That's your grandson right there, man. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, Choji, don't hit him like that. No, not Cho <laughs> Cho yeah, Choji Saru Tobi. Choji Saru Tobi. Got a nice uh, ring. my OC, do not steal. <laughs> <laughs> Full combo, and we get the Molten Palm. I, I think that's like the first full combo he's, he's gotten. It's stepdad versus real dad. Yeah, it's mainly been tilts, which in that case, it's like maybe Halo Dance would be really good. Hitting his uh, dad in the back of the head. Yeah. His dad. <laughs> oh my god, that damage. Yeah, what else did say too? That here's an is gonna oh. awaken. Yeah. Not a team but, awakening. Though. But he also he did swap the tsunade. I was gonna say too, here's an actually um, is considered uh, if you you know surprisingly if you, if you couldn't tell he's um, elderly, and yeah. as a result he has a uh, kind of like Donzo. Where he has a negative defense, or Chio. Yes. Yeah, all those characters kind of have that defense snag. Or, like, or I think even also um, Kakuzu, too, because he's also yes. very old. Yes, he's extremely old. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, that Awakening wasn't fully utilized. In an Awakening fashion, usually tagging out. Yeah. Unless you're um, Kakuzu or uh, Tayuya. Yeah. Then you're fine. Oh, she's cast! Again, battle of Choji the tilts! Oh! <laughs> fireball. Fireball, like, disappeared. Yeah. I think it's it only goes a certain absorbed. distance. Oh, okay. It's not like a Uchiha fireball. Yeah. It's Why Dragon Sinade? Flame, um... Does she have ultimate tilt on Sinade? Yes, I believe so. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe she doesn't. I'm not sure. I know they boosted on her before, but I don't know if they actually make that a staple. Good staple Now also is getting his uh, subs back. No subs though on uh, Hokage. She actually does not have ultimate kill. And here's oh she gets a grab off on nice. Choji. No subs though. This is very dangerous for Hokage. Yeah, and this could be it. It gets Asuma with full subs. And, and once Asuma. they get an attack in, Asuma will win. Oh, oh, this is a team, team awakening. awakening. Will she stay in though? No, well, it she doesn't won't. matter. They're both gonna get the, the health regeneration. Oh, they, they will. Use regenerator. All right, well, they make something of it, though. There's only one sub left on Asuma. Yeah. Oh, here comes the... Oh! oh. And, you know... Ooh, nice. No subs. Here, then. Another tilt. Oh. <laughs> Keeps on going. And Tsunade's gonna go for the air combo and oh! finish it. Wow, they outclutched the Clutch Masters. <laughs> Nicely done, Hokage. Wow, Kage, very impressive. And Hiruzen, along with Sonate, I looking really good. But I gotta say, Hiruzen was looking he good. Was really good. Um, those tilts, man, got to do something with that because that was that was amazing. He, I feel like that was a lot of what clutched them out at the very end. He tilted more, I think, than Konan did. That's yeah, crazy. That was that was insane. So that's gonna bring Team Hokage up to six and nine. And uh, Team Asuma down to 10 and 5. Still a very respectable record. So uh, we will see you in the next match, everybody. All right, match number six here. We have Uchiha Clan at Team Guy. Um, should be an interesting, interesting match here. Uchiha is officially knocked out of playoffs, but Guy still has a shot. Um, they can, they can edge. Kakashi out if they win this match. Otherwise, they are officially knocked out of playoffs. So, a lot is on the line here for Team Guy. And uh, as such, uh, have they used any boosts? Oh, well, let me take a look at my boost book here. Let's yeah. see. My boost book. Boost book. Um, so, Uchiha used a few boosts, or they used a boost, and Guy used a boost. Um, but they also benched a few people before we get into that yes. first. So Uchiha benched Mr. Madara. He's uh, benched this week, which I mean, is, admittedly is fine. I don't think he's been one of the best members of their team. No, no, Kind of inconsistent. He was actually at the bench for a little while and they brought him in, so. 
Um, yeah. In terms of Guy, Guy benched Neje. Neje. Uh, which he's actually done pretty well as well, but he's a similar thing. Well. He was also FA benched, I think, and they brought him back in as well, I think, yeah. at some point, if I'm not mistaken. Neji is one of their best characters, in my opinion, so this could be more difficult for Team Guy, but we did see some good stuff from PTS Lee last week and uh, from from regular Lee as well. So hopefully Guy can, uh, for them at least, uh, they can do well in this match so that they, they can get into playoffs. Um, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. We'll see how it goes. I mean, again... Like you said, both. Uh... Well, actually, no. This is a uh... guy has to win, right? You're yes, saying? guy has to win to get into playoffs here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So yeah, the, the, a lot is on the line for them. So we'll have to see how it goes. All right, round number one. We have PTS Lee with Guy versus uh, Angry Boy Obito, Itachi, and Shisui. I like to call him, I need a bottle, Obito, but... <laughs> I need a bottle. Uh, Lee taking some nice fire damage there. Um, Shisui's actually going to get that counter off and try to go into the air. Oh, there's an ult from Itachi. Gets subbed by Lee. Yeah, nicely done. It really hurt him, too, because I don't know if they've... Oh, another sub. Nice. Yeah, those those are eating guys' subs. But... Uh, both teams are actually a lot of subs now. I will say, I'm impressed with, um, I feel with um, certain ultimates that just surround your body, like Itachi's, I feel Itachi has some good uses of it. Like, he'll use it in mid-combo or close to the character. You don't usually see him do, like, a Zabuza where he does it, like, such far range. Oh, yeah. Very, very common. common. He kind of mixes it in, which is very nice, considering that ultimate also is kind of hard to connect with. Yeah. And Gia getting a nice little lead here. Uh, guy has no subs or chakras. He's could be in trouble. He used, he used a sub scroller from within. Was uh, that a. Uh, uh, yeah, oh no, that was Uchiha. Yes, that was Uchiha. They just they overlap, it's hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Itachi. I think they could stand to disable his shuriken because I do see sometimes he just throws a shuriken out of that. Like, like that, yeah. Yeah, where it's it kinda... would be better to follow up with a combo as he did earlier. Yeah, certain characters, I mean, of course, as you see, Shuriken can really help because they can interrupt an ultimate, but um, you're kind of more so looking for his mobility, not as a way of just, like, I want to get closer so I can throw a Shuriken. Yeah. But again, it's, it's, it's it possibly they might have tested him with that, and maybe he just wasn't the solid, so... Yeah, it's possible. And, oh! oh, from Shisui, he's actually going to connect here. He gets, I think the dash cut kept him yeah, in the, the air, didn't it? the dash cut him. And it's gonna do some nice damage to Guy, who I believe has a defense negative, unless they use Slack Jacket, which uh, then it would not negate it, but uh, definitely less than it. Or didn't they use a boost? I'm, I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't remember. Uh, I, I think they did. Let me just double check. Oh, no. Guy's gonna get off their team. Oh, never mind! <laughs> Uchiha got the off their team ultimate first. I wonder I guess... why. Well, because he's an Uchiha. Oh, okay. Why? Uchiha, Uchiha gets in the plus one against Clashes. Wow. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's already it for the first round. Things are not looking good for Team Guy. That, that green bar is going to hurt a lot. They're going to have to really, really outperform Uchiha in the next round. So yeah, definitely. It'll be rough, but we'll see you then. All right, round two. Uh, team Guy second lineup. Uh, guy, Lee, and the Ten Ten versus the first lineup of Uchiha, which Green Bar the last match. So a lot of work out for Guy here. Um, they definitely want to take this without taking as little as possible, so they can at yeah. least bring it to it. Well, there's sleep. Okay so far. Well, there's sleep palm even... Guy getting the sleep palm off with his feet. That, that's yeah. a Guy thing. <laughs> a nice tilt there from Lee. I'm surprised they don't use ultimate tilt on me. Ultimate tilt be good, even uh, um, Halo Dance can catch you too, yeah. like I'm on fire on that kick. Would it be actually the final part of it, I guess, that would ignite him, or would it be the beginning of like... The, yeah, uh, the final part of it. Okay. Ultimate from... Lee. Not good. gonna really chase there. Good move from Shishui actually backing off. That yeah. thing could be hard to dodge. And uh, it comes... Wow! Full combo from Lee. Into a oh, and a strike back! Oh, the dash kept helping him, though. Yeah. Fireball, not gonna hit ten times. She's gonna dash right back in there with that crazy speed. 
Only only the Uchiha can provide. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting because like with the speed of like, some of the characters, um, even on a large map, I don't feel it'd be a detriment. And honestly, like I, it's kind of interesting that Uchiha had it as a small map as their home stage because I feel they could also do well on the larger stage with the amount of spread they have with their fireballs. Oh, yeah. speed of some of their characters, I mean, it really would kind of negate the effects of it, honestly. It definitely could, yeah. And Obito getting right in there with that chakra dash. Hopefully you can keep up this pressure on Tenten. But Tenten definitely doesn't want to lose this green health bar. Was she just trying to grab there? What was she doing? She was like, was like just a shuriken throw? I'm not sure. <laughs> she was just wanting to do it over and over again. I'm sure like... if, I got, if I got back, I, I could tell you what it was, but yeah. And Obito using his last of his subs there. Nice dynamic oh, nice. support. And yeah, she uses her uh, jutsu, but it doesn't actually come in that handy. She could throw out an ult, she does. And it's not oh. going to connect, doesn't go far enough. No. <laughs> There's Itachi just kind of dashing around the place. Yeah. But they do have plenty of range to deal with 10-10. Kind of giving Itachi herself a little bit of a uh, defense there. Fireball. Yeah. Oh. Looks like that might have given them the handicap. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that was oh, a nice man. little sensor attack right there. Me getting off of... Oh, never mind. Not quite getting off that full air combo. But he does get part of that tilt off. And Itachi's out of subs and has no chakra, but Lee just countered twice, so he's severely limited in the amount of chakra he has. Yeah, now they got their subs back and Guy has no subs now. They're starting to come back, but... Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've done a ton of chip damage just through those fire, those fireballs and Halo Dance and all that crazy stuff. Oh, and when I say Halo Dance, I don't mean the scroll, I mean she switched you too. <laughs> Should make that a, that distinction, it's pretty important. Look at that grab being boosted by the rocks that they're on here, jeez. <laughs> Man. The extra damage from the rocks. Yeah, can't ever notice that. Team, Team Ultimate. Ultimate might connect! Three! No. Oh. It, <laughs> three, three. It, <laughs> it counted. Two of them went like pretty close to the same time. It seems so. It seems like that's what it was. I say four, I guess. Three, three, three pointer. And a lot of tagging going from Uchiha here, and Tachi catches right back up to ten. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of damage to her. But uh, she's sweet, on the other hand. This might be it for Guy. They have no subs, and yeah, Uchiha's just though. dunking them right now. Jeez. And here comes Angry Boy. Obito's gonna get hit. Oh, no, he doesn't get hit. Angry Boy! He finishes it! Wow. wow! That was an incredibly strong performance from Uchiha. It's a shame that Akatsuki won their match, because... Yeah, that, that definitely... I mean, that... That was really good for Muchiha, and it's gonna be sad to see them go in the playoffs because they are they are out. But similarly, now um, Guy is out too because they lost their match. So that that, that secures Kakashi um, a spot in the playoffs and gives Uchiha also their spot in the playoffs. Or you mean the uh, Akatsuki because Uchiha's out. Oh, yes, you're right. Yes. I forgot. They, they, okay, sorry. So, okay. <laughs> Akatsuki is in because Akatsuki lost their, what, they lost their match, right? Akatsuki won their match against Uchiha. So, yes, Akatsuki's in because they, they have the same record. They're both 8 and 7, but Akatsuki is over Uchiha. Oh, because, okay, I'm sorry. So, it's Uchiha okay. was already out by this. I, was, I don't know what I'm thinking. It's a little confusing. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I was getting pumped, and now I'm like, yeah, they're, oh, no. It's <laughs> yeah. So now, even though Team Kakashi lost this week, Team Guy also lost, and since Team Kakashi beat Guy, they are in playoffs. So uh, this makes Uchiha Clan eight and seven, and Guy is six and nine now. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this episode. We'll see you in uh, episode four, everyone. Bye. Later.